Hi everyone, Margot Freitag here. I have a little story for you and something really delicious to share with you. So the story goes like this. When I was a kid, my best friend was the little girl who lived next door and her name was Melody. Mel, if you're watching this, hi. Uh, I have huge gratitude to Melody because uh, she used to invite me over to her house for dinner among all sorts of other wonderful experiences we had together, lots of fun. Melody was Seventh-day Adventist and her mother was an amazing cook. And so every once in a while I'd get invited over for dinner and my very favorite thing to have when I went over to Mel's house for dinner was something called Haystacks. Haystacks was the most amazing meal and it didn't take long before it became a family favorite in my own home because I brought it back to my house. And we modified it over the years. It's a little different now than it was then, but basically the same thing. So it turns out that haystacks, as Mel would put it, was a sevy thing. And a sevy thing means it's a Seventh-day Adventist thing. So it turns out that I just rediscovered and was so delighted to find in, in Dan Buettner's book, The Blue Zones Kitchen, if you open it up to the Loma Linda section, there's haystacks in this book. I couldn't believe it. So I was just thrilled and um, I highly recommend, if you don't have this book, I highly recommend that you get it. It's filled with amazing plant-based recipes. So anyway, Dan's version of Haystacks is equally as sevy as Melody's and I would say equally as sevy as our version today. And I want to show you exactly how we do Haystacks. And the very first thing that we do is we, we make it warm so that the dea shreds or the vo life shreds will melt on top now i just have a word about that i know that you know some of these processed vegan cheeses are not the best for you but real cheese isn't good for you either and i think the great thing about these vegan shreds that are available is that it helps kids to get away from the addictive components of dairy the casomorphins specifically and all of the other dangers that come along with dairy products. So, you know, if it means using some dairy alternatives to help your kids enjoy food and get away from dairy, I think it's, I'm all for it. We are after progress, not perfection, right? So I wanna show you the very first thing is the first step that we do to make our haystacks in my house. And it just happens to be a recipe in my new cookbook, Plant Powered Punks, which is right here. Plant Powered Punks, this is my new cookbook for children and inside we have this amazing recipe called Magical Mexican Rice. It's very easy, It's you can see two leaves means it's a little bit more of an intermediate level recipe and that means you'll require some assistance from parents or adults and uh, every time you see a little beep, that just means uh, adult supervision or uh, adult help is, is warranted. All right, all of the instructions are here and at the end of the day, it looks like it does in the pot. I've just made it. I'm gonna show that to you in just a sec. The next thing that we do is we put it all together just like Dan has outlined in his amazing book and we're gonna do that right now okay first things first here's magical Mexican rice and you can see it includes all sorts of very healthy and delicious ingredients including rice brown rice in particular black beans corn tomato all sorts of great things and wonderful spices too here it is in the picture in the book and here it is in my pot in real life ready to go it's beautiful delicious all right so the first thing that melody always taught me to do was to crunch my chips up so we've got some organic uh blue corn chips here and mel always taught me to crunch up your chips 
Now, I like to leave a few bigger ones on the outside of the plate just to use as scoops for a little bit later on. And now we're ready for the Mexican rice. All right, it's nice and hot, right off the stove top. And next, of course, is the vegan treads, right on top of the nice, hot Mexican rice. Next, a little romaine. And then my most favorite food in the world, cilantro. I am a big cilantro fan, so I put lots on. A little bit of green onion, fresh tomatoes, some jalapeno, and of course, some avocado. This is optional, a little salsa on top. You can also use pico de gallo. And then this is something that my son usually makes with vegan A's, but we made it tonight with Dan's recipe from the Blue Zones cookbook. And it is the cashew drizzle. So in this cashew cream, we've mixed in cumin and chili powder and garlic powder and onion powder, a little salt and pepper, and you cannot believe how delicious it is. Oh, and I must uh, remember the most important ingredient is lime juice. All of this is just to taste. And there you have it. Your haystacks are all ready to be eaten. Delicious and loved by young and old alike. Thank you, Melody, and thanks, Dan. See you soon.